So now, if you have good diode drops all the way around the incoming line, the regenerative braking transistor, the pre-charge resistor is not opened up. Got good diode drops out here on UV and W. We're ready to power this thing up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, let's get to the hookups. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> I hope you all don't mind. <laughs> These, this looks complicated right here, but it really isn't. There's only a couple of things we need to worry about when we when we hook up the hook up the drive to run it. Uh, that's the line voltage coming in. Now my drive it's not 200 to 230. You always got to look at the data plate. Always look at the data plate. My drive is 380 to 500. You don't want to put 380 to 500 into a 200 to 230 volt drive. <laughs> you have to call the fire department for that thing exploding. Okay, now you, on this drive you got to have a motor. It's a seven and a half horse motor at, at a minimum. Otherwise you get that alarm, uh, that OPH alarm, output phase failure alarm. <laughs> If you put a 1.5 horsepower motor on this uh, on this drive, you'll get that OPH alarm. And Altivar does that. I I've very rarely seen a drive that would fail if the output wasn't hooked up. This is the only drive I've ever worked on that uh, that would give me that alarm. They're pretty thorough about that. Next thing you want is your speed reference. This is called the speed reference. You have to tell the drive how fast you want to run that motor. The sun's going down. It's getting dark out. I've got to hurry up. And you put a potentiometer here with the wiper on AI1, analog input 1. You have the wings of the potentiometer on plus 10 volts and common. Now you increase that voltage here on analog input 1 and the drive will run faster. You decrease the voltage here with the, uh, with the speed potentiometer and the motor will run slower. Now we got to tell this drive to go. We have a forward and reverse. You can see these switches right here. You have a switch input to uh, this terminal logic input 1 for forward and logic input 2 for reverse and that's connected to plus the plus 24 terminal right there now we go hook this drive up and uh, we'll watch it go <laughs> that's a long one that's a long video sorry it was so long but this stuff gets pretty complicated and uh, if you noticed, I ain't got no math involved here. You don't, uh, you don't need math to watch the sun come up. You don't need math to watch the fireflies light up at night. You just enjoy the moment. You ought to see the grandkids' eyes light up when they see them fireflies out there. Well, that's the way... That's the way these things are right here. When you're going to repair a inverter drive or a servo drive or whatnot, your eyes ought to light up <laughs> when it's when it's running. <laughs> okay. Alright. There we go. Let's go fire this thing up. See what she does. First thing we got to do is make sure that in the real world 
not on paper, but in the real world, we're not shorted. Always do that when you uh, bring a drive into your shop or you're out there on the factory floor troubleshooting the drive. Make sure you disconnect it, of course, from the rest of the world. Uh, but make sure that none of these devices inside that drive are shorted.